Hi and welcome back to another video. In this video I'm gonna be talking about a little bit um, about the themes and the layouts of the website. I'm not gonna spend too much of time on this because um, uh, as it's kind of understandable it's really much preferable an individual so I don't know what kind of website you are building or intend to build so and what kind of business you're in or hobby you do and what kind of um, <laughs> visual ideas you might have so this really depends and is up to you one of the great ways to search for the good uh, layout and theme ideas is again just simply to go to the free wordpress uh, marketplace within your wordpress dashboard and here you can search the different themes in the featured uh, themes or popular themes or latest themes and you can kind of go and see which one uh, you might like and which one would fit your website the most. So, uh, as I said pre previously, we had installed the 2019 by default. It was very minimalistic, seemed very simple. Uh, and I decided to go with the Supernova here in the featured themes because I kind of like theme. I installed the theme and by default we have the slider here which we can change. We can change the images on the slider and add there our own images. We can even like um, customize it as we want. We can even get rid of this whole slider. We can get rid of the um, here the, this uh, widget area on the right side with all these information we don't maybe even need that we can create our uh, static page instead of like a blog page right because here as you see it's our first blog post and it's gonna be like stacked on top of each other the blog posts so we can easily create even the static page we can um, set up these menus here we can add a menu here it's just really nice uh, nice multi-purpose theme uh, I like the layout I like kind of the, the slider here so I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with this theme uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and customize it a little bit right so when you go to uh, theme and customize here we have some options right we can choose the site identity which means basically we can uh, upload create and upload our own logo right and we can uh, even upload our own uh, uh, icon which is the, basically the icon that will show here uh, instead of this one at the top right when in the browser so with that being said uh, i'm not going to change much, much many things here um, but what i'm going to change probably i'm going to get rid of this uh, side widget area i'm just going to make it nice and empty like just one uh, nice big page right like this I don't really need that widget area and now for now maybe you do maybe I don't I can maybe put it on the left side instead of right side this is pretty nice um, simply customizable theme it's a really really good theme I like it for free here the typography is the slider option as I mentioned uh, we can add new slides if we want our own pictures content here we can uh, add the copyright text header scripts and the post settings right the header scripts it's basically what I've is when I've been talking about that for example the code from the Google search console we can paste it here as a script right or any other script that are basically going to be pasted in the in within your uh, source code of your website between the header and body tag so you remember when I've been talking about it uh, we can shows different post settings here this is really like mm, nice like a pretty a lot customizable theme right home page settings here you see as i mentioned you can set it to the latest post or a static page we can create a static page and and have it as a static page but uh, as i said i'm not gonna change too much here i'm just gonna um, for now i'm happy as it is right 
once you do your changes here in the customizing you just need to click publish in case uh, if you uh, want to save all those changes you just click publish and they're going to be saved right now when i'm going to reload the page it's going to reflect the changes that i've done see the widget are already gone so uh, there are different themes for your own use maybe i don't know as i mentioned uh, in the beginning of this video it really depends on what you want to do with your website and uh, just to give a little hint uh, as you see this, these kind of layouts here they are usually not by default there when you install the theme right so as you see how it looks like here now uh, it's not there sometimes by default they have um, a lot of times when you install the theme they have like option to import their own demos so you basically import the whole demo here like a static page and then you can just go and change the images and text and it's going to look uh, like exactly like this or that right as you see on the pictures here but in my case it's been there already uh, by default so with that being said uh, go ahead search for your um, perfect theme and um, go ahead upload it install it whatever <laughs> activate and play around with it like a little bit right not too much and see you next video.